Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with Diva. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So today's pick a card reading is about what do they want from you, okay? Like, what do I want from you, okay? So it's that kind of question. We have six piles here. So you have number one, which is a rider tarot. Number two, which is a night sun tarot. Three is golden universal tarot. Four is vice versa. Five is dancing in the dark. And six is the wild unknown tarot, okay? So choose with your intuition and you can go directly to your time stamps. Ground yourself definitely, or I'll say center yourself, okay? So you know yourself better than me and you know what reality is better than me, okay? So you will not end up uh, absorbing unnecessary information. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to say overall so that is all and i'm just gonna shuffle okay so if you want just go to the you know the description box below and just click on the whichever pile you selected okay unless you want to watch me shuffle so the archetype will be more like who what is it that i want okay the archetype is the energy of the subject the target i want might be i want nothing from you it could be because based on who you're coming here for and based on what type of connection you guys have and how your person feels that will kind of give you an idea okay the hidden truth could be just like a hidden little message it could boost the energy as it can bring it down as it could can confuse me or confuse you uh, the hidden truth, I usually don't trust it that much. Although it's an oracle, I trust myself when it comes to the oracle overall. Okay, so when I say I trust myself, it's like I don't like to go into circles. So if I feel like the energy is not picking up, I will not necessarily empower this oracle. Okay, because uh, this oracle is not complete for me in some way. Okay. As per Diva, it's an oracle I use definitely because it could give some people certain information, okay? About the person as it could confuse you even more. So. <laughs> but you need to lose yourself a bit so that you can uh, act on certain, act a certain way so that you can have a clarity element also, okay? So, yeah, and it could also cause you pain but the clarity might be painful but then again do you wish to deny it and be stuck in that energy because it's too painful to deal with or you prefer to just move on know what the truth really is like and just fuck off when you need to fuck off and just stay and fight for the relationship if you need to stay and fight for the relationship but at the end of the day that 50 percent is connected to your person if you're always indulging and you're always putting 50 percent there then your person is not doing anything on the other side then you can't control that other 50 percent no matter what you want to do you can have it certain ways let's say manipulation okay but when it's manipulation but then you're the one who's going to end up being hurt because you manipulated it in such a way that you got what you wanted. But at the end, if it's not genuine, it's not going to last long. And I don't want to comfort people. I know I understand many people want to be comforted by me, let's say. You want me to give you the idea so that you can be more comfortable, like the commercials connected to, I don't know tuning in to psychic because you're you want to kind of know what the reality is but then again the only way to know is to face the person and like tell the person why did you do this as per me this is how i deal with situations and i i'm not afraid to kind of pinpoint certain stuff and if i'm wrong then my person should kind of like step up their game and tell me what the reality is I'm acting a specific way because I have certain blockages as a person, but I'm a human being at the end of the day, right? There's a good size to me as there are bad sides to me, and there are good sides to my person as there are bad sides to them, right? And the connection is about how much both of you are eager to willingly put 
in the relationship, right? Now, 50% is up to you, 50% is up to them. Unless you give that 50% to your mother, your father, your, I don't know, like the other person. So it's more like 100% is dealt with one person in the relationship. The other one doesn't have a say in it because they don't want to be responsible for their end or you don't want to be responsible for your end. You understand? It's that kind of dynamic a bit. If we're going comfort okay if you're really allowing there's a lot of clarity you need to tune into okay like i don't want to give you that speech if you want go on Sadhguru's uh youtube channel okay there's a lot of stuff you can wake up to okay i'm not saying he is very like he's right all the time but there's an element of clarity he offers to many people okay and the clarity could be his own perspective okay but then again there's many perspectives to many stuff so you will know what you want to take and what you're not able to take and what you are accepting or what you're not accepting it's you as a person so whatever i say i'm just giving you perceptions i have no uh like uh it doesn't give me enjoyment to kind of sit down and criticize people sit down and like read this sit down and kind of like create a certain scenario and laugh on people that's not why i do uh my channel okay it might seem like it for some of you based on which way you're looking at me and how much you're putting me on the pedestal but i'm telling you i'm a human being at the end of the day I'm just doing this for passion element, but then again, there's a certain calling that I do, okay? You will take it if you like it, if you like it, if you don't like it, you don't need to like it, guys. It's not, it's not that. I just want people to like what I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. It's a passion element of mine. I don't plan anything when I create this, okay? I just like choose intuitively the decks and I just kind of drawn to kind of doing this subject today. So I'm just doing it with the complete faith that whoever needs to watch this and hear what I need to say will take it. Okay, but then again, I'm very conscious of certain other stuff because I myself watched a lot of chat readings, okay? And I might have had good stuff connected to it as I might have had bad stuff connected to it. So that's why I say always center yourself or ground yourself because it's easy with tarot to lose yourself. And I myself played with tarot a lot for many years now. It's been three years, I think. I have a channel and earlier than that i used to watch a lot so i kind of learned a lot of stuff by watching also it's an experience by watching many other tarot readers and then having it learning it myself also okay so i kind of with experience i'm saying only just center yourself when you're watching me because the question also here is that what do they want from you okay and if you chose let's say a pile and it's not necessarily the clarity you need because i have six piles now and i'm just gonna kind of you know what i'm just gonna kind of have faith that you chose the right one this video okay i'm not gonna doubt myself the more i doubt the more i kind of talk it's more like a vicious cycle i go in so it's a pattern i just woke up to so anyways i have faith in you so just have faith in yourself okay so and happy holidays to many of you uh, i hope you have a beautiful year full of abundance, good health, good health overall, the main thing, a lot of safety and afterwards comes the wealthiness, okay, so a lot of abundance and material, let's say, uh, necessities or essential elements that you will need, maybe in your hands this year, okay, so that's my wishes and I'll see you in your pile, okay, so pile one, whoever chose uh, the brighter tarot, welcome to your reading, I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time and happy holidays or whichever way. If it's a happy birthday, then happy birthday to you. Okay, so <laughs> just mentioning it. Okay, so may you have a beautiful year. Um, so let us see what your person wants from you. Okay, so whoever you have in your headspace, what do they want? What do they want from you? I might have been teasing you. I might have been like giving you like a wishy-washy going and coming and leaving and ghosting and then coming kind of energy. So it's not clear to you if this person wants to have a relationship with you or not, okay? But um, overall, what is it that I want from you? So you have the nectar. <laughs> uh, 
okay and um i hate who i really am from you so this one it's a secret uh uh suitor that's what i channeled okay so you have passion wow very like look at these colors or the energy it's very similar in some way oh and there it's like it looks like a rose a bit if you kind of look at it it looks like a rose and here you have a flower it could be a rose also but it doesn't need to be so any type of flower that has a nectar and a bee can definitely lose itself in there uh, so what's the main thing that I want from you? You have the tower card. Okay, like I'm really channeling something very dirty, this one. Uh, it's the tower card. I also look at it in the form of a uh, ejection. It's the word or it's a boner. Okay, it's like a, if this is a male, he wants to kind of have like a hand job or a boot job or like a blow job perhaps if this is a male okay if this is a woman uh she wants you to be very um ready for her that kind very explicit pile on so a uh, rated r okay so from the start it's definitely that kind of energy okay <laughs> you have the page of wands energy this is very like you need to be sure this person wants your D or wants your like Yoni this one. Any orientation, any sexuality will do for me. I don't give a shit about it. But uh about orientation and sexuality. I don't fight for one type, one side, okay? So I so you're straight, you're straight, you're gay, you're gay, you're lesbian, you're lesbian, you're into like uh, several people as you don't need to be, you're asexual. Uh, or you could definitely be bisexual. For me, you're a human being at the end of the day. You're allowed your own sexuality, okay? So if that, that was not necessarily clear to some people, I just want to kind of like state it in this video, <laughs> in this Bible perhaps, okay? Like, I don't care about your sexuality, okay? Like at the end of the day, you you live your own life. You're responsible for your own life, okay? But here there's an ele er erection, okay? Like what I want is your boner or i want your d or i want your i want something of that sort okay like it's a more passion driven uh you know orgasm blissful elements like that okay like i want you to come down on me that kind of thing okay uh but the reason why is that way is the aid of swords which is a very like conflicting energy so i might be a bit conflicted over this or you might be conflicted over that you don't know about this perhaps but i hate who i really am from you so i'm like a secret suitor this one okay you might know me as you might not know but this one is i you know me okay you know me and uh initial energy what i want from you is the two of swords so i want you to not know that i want you okay and in the present moment with the four of swords i'm like chilling so what i want is to feel more relaxed perhaps and then in the near future with the magician in reverse i don't have poppable cards and then you have the king of um <coughs> what do i really want okay this one it's like you have dead card which is also the man and you have the world card and you have the ace of wands okay this is all uh a person that might have lost an opportunity to have what they wanted with you okay or this is a person that's very sexually well it's a person that wants to be someone important to you but they might not be the one okay they're, they're not your boyfriend or they might be your boyfriend or they want to be your girlfriend, your boyfriend or someone of the sort, okay? But they, they are hiding their identity from you, okay? But uh, what the passion is, I'm very, very uh, passionate about you. With the nectar, what I want is ecstasy, it's orgasm, it's sweet surrender, it's sweetness, okay? It could be very sensuous like that if you like sex and uh you know the lover's energy okay if you like that kind of energy like loving and you're not necessarily asexual let's say um 
this is what they want okay like i want to cuddle you i want to hug you i want to kind of spoon with you kiss you uh come down on you but it's more explicit it's like a lover okay when i say lover it's like very um not ashamed lover energy this one okay but i hid who i really am from you okay so with the tower card overall <laughs> what i want is uh inner either i want to kind of uh turn you on perhaps or i want to get turned on by you could be the reason why it's that way with the eight of swords in reverse is more i like to torture myself a bit like this or i'm already in a painful situation because i'm not with you perhaps it's either you don't want me you want me but you don't know i'm a suitor or it could also be a person that like that gets turned on by the fact that you don't know that they are interested in you let's say but then again they like to torture themselves okay so i like to punish myself a bit and that's how i turn i get turned on so it's more my uh my mag masses masochistic <laughs> tendencies i don't know if i'm kind of pronouncing the word properly it's like a person who's more submissive or who likes they get turned on by pain like pinching ropes and all that kind of stuff okay where it's like they go intense in certain ways okay but you will know or you don't need to know you just need to confirm these kind of stuff with the person i'm reading this for but for some of you the person might have a tendency of liking to kind of be blinded and uh you know tied up a bit and kind of feel like they don't have any it's like they they kind of like to be like ordered around perhaps that kind okay but my challenge with the page of wands energy it's also in a upright way so um this is all one way though okay you don't know this about them you don't know this about them okay so this is definitely just one side as if like me whoever you are here for it's all inside of me and you might not know about this okay so you don't know i'm attracted to you but then again oh my god i'm so attracted to you what i want from you is to kind of like be degraded perhaps this one be degraded Be degraded because I like that kind of stuff, okay? That kind of stuff turns me on a bit, okay? And my challenge here with the Page of Wands is to kind of perhaps step up my game, perhaps really give myself that, like, ec ecstasy without torturing myself. But then again, if I'm turned on by those things, then I'll just keep on doing them, you know? Uh, in the initial, what I want from you is to kind of, like, you don't know that I want this from you. This is what I want from you, okay? Like, right now in the present moment, it's more like I'm kind of, like, uh, chilling with that element that you don't know how much you get, you turn me on. And then in your future with the Magician and the King of Wands, what I want energetically is to kind of masturbate a bit okay but uh, this one overall um it's more a person that look diva's gonna say the person doesn't have a name that much okay it's uh, it's like let's say the experience here is more like i'm watching porn that kind of experience and i'm kind of masturbating that kind of energy a bit okay it's not what you want to hear i know but this is the energy i understood with common sense if you want the clear the clearest type of um expression here is that your person prefers you don't not knowing that they are turned on by you okay and uh they might have the ways to kind of um get turned on by you okay so it's more like perhaps i kind of know you on a physical level we interact with each other but then i have an idea that i perhaps torture myself sexually connected to you so i might have pictures or something of the sort and this is what i want to do with you so it's not a, a two-way kind of thing it's a one way so i prefer you not know about it okay and i feel more comfortable with the fact that you don't know about it and uh, in the near future it's more like i rather like master myself with that 
masturbation element so i'm a female who masturbates or i'm a male who masturbates on the thought of you but then again it's all alongside it this is what i want from you you not knowing that i do these kind of stuff it's what i want from you okay you might be the reason i masturbate or you might be my inspiration for masturbation but then again this is what i want in the present moment okay so it's a woman or a man that do these kind of stuff connected to you but then again you might have no idea they do this okay so this one it's for whoever you clicked on okay and you will know if this is definitely what they do as you might not confirm it okay but you need to confirm this to know but then again it's too private for a question it's like how can you go to a person and tell them do you masturbate on the thought of me kind of thing so uh it's just um this one ground yourself and uh you know there's no real way of knowing if they do this <laughs> except if you do this with them but uh this one how one you will only know based on your intuition okay so that's all that i had okay so pile one that was it see you on my next video basically or in, in the next pile you're choosing perhaps for another person or the same person uh okay so pile two whoever chose my sun tarot welcome to your reading i hope you're all safe and healthy in this time so let us see what does this person want from you okay so what does this person want from you what do i want from you want from you what's the main thing what's the archetype you have the siren and the hunter so i want you to hunt me down or something or uh and the siren what's the mood connected to what they want rejection in reverse though with one more stuff rejection of what sadness what do i want from you the mood is rejection and sadness i'm sad about the rejection and i knew exactly what i was doing okay what do i want from you have the empress card in reverse uh my challenge is the devil card the devil card <laughs> upright hmm. the reason why it's the knight of pentacles with the five of pentacles knight of pentacles with the five of pentacles Uh, in the initial energy, what I want is the Four of Cups. There's a lot of rejection. I want you to reject me. You have the Five of Cups. I want it to be like a, a missed opportunity for you. And then with the Chariot card. Uh, this one, it's a Siren or it's a Hermit. Yeah. 
Okay, this one, what I want you to show me is that you're a good cash and that you want me regardless of the fact that I'm rejecting you, that you're going to fight for me uh, more, okay? So this one, it's more like I'm sad to reject you, but then again, I want you to wake up to the fact that it's like it's you are worthy of my attention, let's say. It's just that I want you to show me that... Uh, like this one is very misleading let's say but the mood overall of this what they want is that you have to seduce me even more what i want from you is that you hunt me down even more you seduce me even more every time i reject you i have a twinkle in the eyes a bit that kind of as if like i'm teasing you so that you can show me what you really got under your sleeve it's more like if this is a female or if this is a male who has rejected you, they were sad about the rejection and the fact that you gave up after they rejected you, that kind, okay? But I knew exactly what I was doing. I was playing coquette with you overall. What I wanted from you is that you show me that you want me. You show me that, like, regardless of I rejected you or not, you're able to kind of, like, come and face me again. And this time again, again, like, try a different trick kind of thing, okay? So it's a woman or it's a man that wants you to kind of not give up on them. So they wanted to kind of, like, say no to you until you kind of showed them that you could have definitely seduced them. Or you really wanted them very much. That kind. But the reason why I kind of rejected you is more like I want a kind of a serious suitor. Okay, the reason why I want this is because I want a serious suitor. I want to see if you're serious. How many times will I be rejecting you and how many times are you going to come back? That kind. It's like, how hooked up on me are you? Kind of thing. Okay, so what I want from you is to kind of see that you want me and how seductive can you be with the fact that you want me? How serious are you? And how much your, like, seductive side can kind of, like, make me tameable a bit kind of thing. So it's a woman that likes a man who plays hard to get. I, but it's, I'm the one who plays hard to get overall. So I want you to play the hard to get game with me. But it's like chase me seductively like that. That kind. Because I don't trust easily, perhaps. I used to believe in this, okay? I still do. <laughs> you need to show me that you want me at least five five to ten times. I'm going to reject you. I might like you, definitely. But then again, I want you to show me who you really are. So this one, it's a bit like I like to play hard to get until I kind of see that you are fired up and you really want me, that kind. Then I'll kind of like say, okay, I'll do it kind of thing i'll date you a bit i'll give you the chance to kind of seduce me after all the hard work you've done on top of that i'm a bit difficult to please perhaps that kind okay it might have consequences it's like i'm waking up to them the more i kind of read but uh overall this is how they are you know they like to be seduced i like to feel important that kind okay uh, this is what I want from you. I want you to kind of show me that I'm a big shot overall, that you've kind of tried. But then again, I want to see that you are able to seduce me also, that kind. You're not like giving up on me just because I said no to you at least three to five times, that kind. I might like you. You know I like you. It's not that I don't like you. But uh, it's like I need to grow on you a bit, that kind. You have to make me grow on you that kind okay so in the initial it's more like i want to reject you okay and i want you to feel like it's a missed opportunity okay and then in the near future i want you still to want me even though i kind of say no to you that kind but when i'm saying no there is a smile on my face it's not the energy where no you know it's more like, no, I don't want, you know, it's like, no, I don't want, but I'm smiling kind of, okay? That's how you can know if the person is really that way, okay? This one also ground yourself. Because... 
we're going one only pathway this one this one i couldn't go more like rejection because i want the siren and the hunter so i want to play hard to get with you overall that kind of uh energy when i was saying no to you the first five four times i was smiling okay or i it's like intuitively if you really went and remembered reminisced about the several times i said no to you uh you have to find a specific energy where i was a bit joking like no but i was like feeling awkward also that you were asking me but then again i knew what i was doing i was not more like grounded on the fact that i'm saying no to you it's not like no i don't want you kind of thing it's more like no i don't have the time or i don't do that kind of stuff you know it's like that kind of joking around a bit okay it's a bit wishy-washy but it's a concrete no let's say the more you kind of try it it's more like i wanted to see just how serious you were but if i said no and i was more like serious and there was a frightening tingle in my eyes it's a no okay but then again, if you came two, three, four times, how are you going to know the difference here is more like after five times still you're trying. The sixth one, I'm just going to kind of turn around and say, I really don't want to. That kind. But if I was always a bit playful and it was more like a joke, like, no, I don't have the time kind of stuff. So I have a smile or my eyes are smiling when I'm refusing you. That kind. The eyes were smiling. There's a tinkle in the eyes when I'm saying no to you. I'm knowing what I'm doing, that kind, okay? It's not like no, like serious no. No. No, 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 no. And there's like a frown on my face and there's the fact that I was saying what the hell kind of thing. It's like no, you know? It's not that vibe. It's more like no i kind of like don't have the time you know it's like i kind of look somewhere else i'm a bit uncomfortable but then again i'm kind of like looking at you as if like what are you gonna do next kind of thing it's inner different energies you'll know which one to distinguish okay pile two now pile three whoever chose pile, uh, golden universal tarot welcome to your reading i hope you're all safe and healthy in this time so let us see what does your person want from you. What do I really want from you? Okay. What is it that I want from you? Okay. What do I want from you? Kyrie. And the creator, the truth in the form of a creation or a manifestation of your talent, perhaps. Uh, I will wait for a sign from you. So I want to get something out of you. So it's either I want you to paint for me. I want you to do something for me. Sing for me. Uh, I might be a big fan of yours, this one. And the energy is happiness. Okay, so uh, what I want is happiness. Or the, act, the thing that you create gives me a lot of happiness, okay? So this is what I want from you overall, okay? So uh, you have the king of stars. 
<laughs> I want the truth. The the truth the 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 truth. I want the real truth, perhaps. Uh, or I like your energy a bit, like the fact that you're like strict and no shit, no bullshit, no kind of like. It's like you see through the clarity a bit. It's the, uh, but even not clarity. It's the strictness, perhaps, or you being you creating. Okay, it might be like you have a, you create a book because. The sword and the creation could also be pencil for me. Pencil could be in the form of a sword. It could fight for you or it could be a manifestation uh, of what you create, okay? So my challenge here is the Eight of Wands. So for some of you, <laughs> and the reason why it's that way, you have the, uh, high, the, the Empress, you have the Five of Wands and one more you have the ace of wands okay so there's a lot of creation work here this one uh in the initial energy you have the six of swords in the middle section you have the knight of cups and um in the near future you have the page of cups with the page of wands and there is one more okay so page of wands page of cups and the five of a swords okay <clears throat> but for the king of swords i just want to know Okay, what this person wants from you is to kind of, it's either you have to create something for them and they wish that you create what they want, okay? Uh, what they want though is more like your bold honesty or your boldness in your creation, okay? Uh, kindness is also the truth. I connect it with the truth element, the, what the truth is or the many facets of the truth or a certain divine uh timing okay like a judgment mo uh, a judgment moment uh like facing the fate kind of element but here with the king of swords it's mostly your energy perhaps i want you to kind of be bold and honest with me overall why i want you to be that way is because i feel i feel like uh when you are that way or when you're creating or whatever you create let's say um gives me um like new ideas perhaps new creational project uh ideas perhaps and i feel more abundant and i'm able to observe my uh situation or it's the creation i want to observe okay could be you create something you 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 write something a poem a a a, a, a book a story um legends or you you create like you draw something you paint something whatever it is when you give it to me your art kind of has a certain bold and abstractness or a, a certain clarity or a certain idea okay that i kind of feel gives me new ideas okay it's bold like that but then again that boldness element of yours is making me very happy okay and my challenge with the eight of um wands is to kind of wait for that quick no news i want that quickness i don't know if you will decide but whenever you're ready i will wait for the sign from you to get that notification that kind of like yes you'll do it or yes you will take the offer that kind okay and what i want in the initial energy is to kind of have that equal give and take with you but energetically overall it's, the, it's in the form of an energy in the present moment with the 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 knight of cups it's more like i want it to be more romantic or what i want from you is more like you know when you're a fan of something it's like you want something from the author or you want something from your friend or your friend has a very good talent and you want something from your friend and you want them to do it but they're not doing it but you want you kind of want to persuade them it's that kind of energy and once i get what i wanted from my friend i'm gonna be so so happy with that 
it's that kind of energy in this one okay so and i'm romantically interested in whatever my person creates so i like what they create a lot okay so i really enjoy or i like what your creation is no matter what it looks like okay or what vibration it might have i might be in a romantic relationship with what you're creating okay that kind and in the near future what i want from you is to kind of um like i want to be satisfied emotionally and passionately connected uh to that creation okay so i want to be uh you know excited for that new project you're gonna upload or you're gonna kind of create i'm excited okay so what i want from you is i want you to kind of create something for me overall okay whatever you know i want you to create i want to create i want you to create it so that i can be happy and i'm in love with what you're doing that kind i'm in love with what you create overall and uh with the five of swords it's more like i have ideas about how to deal with the pain or how to deal with the situation or how to deal uh with the truth perhaps what, what how to deal with the truth this one okay so your person wants you to create something and they are just gonna kind of uh fangirl or fanboy over your creation that kind of energy okay i couldn't tune into another one and when i'm saying fangirl fanboying it's more like i'm very passionate about what you do i'm very happy when you give me those things so you could be like a tarot reader when you upload a video there's a person who was kind of so excited about their you taking on their request it could be that way okay so <laughs> Uh, it could be in that form as it could be many other forms. So that's the first thing I channel. So if you're a tarot reader, there's a person who really wants this from you, okay? Make my request, okay? So that I can have the clarity I seek. That kind. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's it, pile three. Now pile four, whoever chose vice versa tarot, welcome to your reading. I hope you're all safe and healthy in this time. So let us see... Um, uh what do they want from you So what is it that I want from you? So you have the animal. I want my animal back. My dog, my cat, my snake, my lizard, my parrot. Uh, whoever the animal is here. I want my animal back. Or I want an animal from you. Or I want to adopt an animal. Okay, so you have those kind of energies and I remember every detail of that day. So you and I went to kind of like check on animals perhaps and I never forgot about it. Uh, you have Clint's. It's 
what is the animal about? So you have Gnosis, you have the father, and you have the warrior. Um, uh, je sais pas. Okay, <laughs> give me time. So what do I want overall? Very unusual because I have an eye here, okay? And I have an eye here, okay? The blue eyes, it's popping here. But the eye is not looking my way in the animal. But here, uh, the eye is looking as Aras. So you have Gnosis, the father, and the warrior, okay? So... I need time, for sure. My challenge here is the Empress card. The reason why is that way you have the Hermit card and you have the Queen of um, Cups in Reverse. In the initial energy, you have the two of wands in reverse. In the middle section, you have the king of swords in reverse. And in the near future, you have the hierophant upright. So what I want from you is to kind of... What I want... For one part, I'm just going to channel the first one, but it's really not that energy, okay? But this one is only for those who have a family or it's more an energy of um, it's your father figure and there's a mother figure, okay? Or you're the mother and there's a father. Father promised me to bring me a dog, okay? If you're my mom. And uh, the main thing here is that I'm going to kind of like beg for it. I always begged for an animal, let's say. And I remember every detail of that day when dad promised me that he's going to get me a dog. Okay. Uh, it's that kind of energy here. Now with the tower card, it's more like I want things to change. I want I want to put you to your place by saying that I want that dog that dad promised me. The reason why is that I feel very alone in the house and you might not uh, give me the attention I want. So overall, we've made the decision and we have to make the promise you made. You have to make it happen. OK, that kind of situation here. OK, so if this is a kid, let's say you're the mom or you're the father, let's say somebody in the family promised this kid or whoever this person is that they're going to give they're going to buy a dog or a cat or an animal something of the sort because uh i feel like uh i want something to play i wanted one and my challenge is to get one okay like you give birth to it or it's being gifted uh to me that kind okay so keeping your promise to me as the mom or the dad okay that kind and i want it because i feel like i will feel better i will feel better and i will feel good now this one could also be like a man or a woman who has an attachment to a dog and it's with their ex-girlfriend or the ex-boyfriend and they want their dog back because uh, they were the dog's dad or they were the dog's mother and they want to fight for that okay it's more like uh, I took care of that dog and I remember every detail of that day when you took that dog away. It's like a, 
I have an attachment to that dog, let's say, and I feel very, very alone. And I want that dog back because I feel like it was something that I was happy about. And uh, it's like why I want it is because I don't want to have a connection with you, but I want that dog back a bit. And the initial energy is more like I made my decision. I want to take it back. And uh, it's like in the middle section with the king of swords, it's more like I'm enraged that I don't have the dog or the cat or whichever animal it is that's under your roof. I want it back. Okay. So in the near future, it's more like I'm going to kind of negotiate or kind of use something of a sword to get the animal back okay but then again it's uh i'm not gonna face you that kind okay or this one is that you guys separated and you kept the dog but they want the dog or they want the cat okay this is the second energy if we're more adult here now the third one i'm not so sure about it because the animal card is really popping here okay Mm. I was getting more like an energy of putting you to your place, okay? There's no real animal in this, okay? What I want is I want you to kind of uh, be more like a father and fight this animalistic side of you or this aggressive side of you or this primitive, more, uh, you know, inhuman side of you, perhaps, okay? So uh, why I want you to do that is because it's like I want you to be more independent or I want you to be more wiser as a person. And uh, with the Queen of um, Cups energy, it's always I connected with the mother energy here. Okay, so for some of you, it's more like a triggering element. It's more like your mom or your dad is no longer here. So I want you to toughen up a bit overall as a person. So it's more like it's married people where it's like independent people that are kind of like away from the family now. And one of your persons is kind of like wishing you to cleanse a bit. Okay, so I remember every detail of that date. It's either I had a biff, I had an argument with your mom. Uh, I had an argument with your dad. I had an argument with you as a person because of certain stuff that is connected to your parents. So there are certain attachments or codependencies that you have with your parents that I wish that you kind of would let go of, okay? So I made the decision to kind of like make you face the truth and kind of like I will use other people or other kind of uh, therapy or psychologist to kind of like face the situation. I want you to cleanse overall, okay? Either your old patterns or your father uh, issues or your mother issues. I'm no longer, I'm not your mom, I'm not your dad, okay? So uh, I'm not your, like, I'm not going to take care of you all the time. You have to be independent, this one, a bit, okay? I want you to be more independent. I want you to be responsible for your own stuff overall, that kind so it's more like you and i are kind of like sharing a house or we got married or it's like it's been a few months now that we are together or i'm pregnant with your kid let's say or i i am the first mother i'm the mother or the father but then again i wish you to kind of like be responsible for your own stuff my challenge here is to kind of still make you feel wanted regardless of how i'm kind of like telling you to be more responsible for yourself so overall it's more like um, this is normal energy, okay? It's more like uh, if you kind of have certain tendencies, it's about time you let those tendencies go, right? So those attachments to your parents when you're married to me, it's definitely, you can definitely be attached to your parents. But then again, when your mom or your dad is like, uh, kind of like making the decisions for you and me, when it should be you and me taking the decisions regarding this marriage, there's an issue there, definitely. Because the relationship is between you and me. It's not about me being married to your mom or me being married to your dad. Yes, technically there are sayings where when I marry this girl or when I marry this guy, I get married to their family. But then again, for the longevity of the relationship between a couple, sometimes you need a distance. And the adults need to certain sometimes stay away or keep a little distance. Yes, there is attachment. I'm not saying they should not take care of you or I'm not saying they should 
take care of me also. I'm grateful for whatever happens, but whatever happens in the relationship has to be dealt between you and me overall. It should not be dealt by other people. You can get opinions about how, how to deal with the situation, definitely, but the decision should be yours. And the consequences, you're going to face them with me. And I'm going to face consequences facing you. Okay, but it's it should be more in between a couple, not outside of the couple relationship. As if like your mom is making decisions and I don't have a say in things. Or your dad makes decisions and I don't have a say in it. So it's more like it's playing with my integrity. As if like you don't trust me as a man or you don't trust me as a woman. You're trusting other people who know better than me, let's say. But then again, you have to allow me space so that I can learn alone, right? And I want you to allow yourself space so that you can learn alone. You should not co-depend on family all the time. That kind. Okay, that kind. I'm not saying you should do this, but then again, this is the kind of energy a bit here. Okay? Make your own decisions. That what That's what your person wants you to do. You make your own decisions. Because they're not going to be there all the time for you. And you have to deal with me and you have to deal with the situation yourself. You're not a kid anymore. Okay, so I don't want to give a scolding to anyone. <laughs> just That's the energy I got, okay? Who am I to tell you what to do, okay? I'm just kind of really expressing the energy. You will know. Okay, so that was it. Pile four. Now pile five. Whoever chose the Dancing in the Dark Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Uh, let us see what your person wants from you. Okay, what do I want from you? I was channeling the lover's card, but I was like, it's too early for me to channel uh, those things. Okay, so for some of you, I love you. That's what I heard in my headspace. It's like, it's a song lyrics. I kind of like, I love you. It's, it's another language, but it's that kind of like, I love you. <laughs> so it's like more like your person dances when they say that. They have a little goofy side to them a bit. They're cute like that. Uh, gorgeous eyes, perhaps, twinkling. Very sexual person, perhaps. So what do I want from you? You have the mountain. Okay. The mountain. Okay. <laughs> the mountain. So... Founding out the truth crushed me. Perhaps I found out a truth, perhaps. Uh, crushed me, whoever I am. And what kind of energy ghosts? Very interesting. Mm, wait, one more. Abundance. Uh, what else do I need to know about this ghost thing? You and I were too young, okay? So, young and beautiful, that's the song I channel right now. Uh, it's a bit reminiscing energy, this one. So, what I want from you, you have the Ten of a Pentacles with the Ace of... Um, Swords and the Magician card here. Very interesting.
like i just realized that it's like this card i never really channeled it that much but you have the wand in the magician's hand there's the number eight on top of the head okay that's normal energy that's the body energy uh that flows into you you have the sword you have the pentacle you have the one with the energy there but on the side there's a snake okay with the head now i was not really sure about it of like what is this element but it's also kundalini energy okay so i'm gonna embrace the kundalini energy here uh you have number one one ten so eleven ten eleven or eleven ten might be a very important number for you or what they want you could check it out uh zero one 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 what does zero one 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 mean numerology wise but then again i don't really believe in those kind of stuff because numbers are what we create okay so it's more like tarot we create it's just human creation so it doesn't have any meaning that much unless it means something to you then it's like that's your perspective and that's your opinion i respect it still okay so you have your own way of like looking at it okay so if numerology means something to you just check it out if it didn't mean anything to you from the start then just keep it that way okay um you have the temperance card uh upright in the middle uh, as the challenge the reason why it's that way you have the nine of wands energy with uh uh page of cups energy What is the ghost energy for? Determination or stuckness a bit, okay? So when you're stuck on someone, you get stuck on the ghost element a bit. That's how I kind of like look at it. In the initial energy, you have the nine of cups. This is what I want. In the middle section, what I want is the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Justice card upright. And in the near future, you have the Hermit card. I don't like I don't have my left hand. Okay, I'm this in this hermit card there's no left hand energy. Very interesting dynamic. <laughs> What's the mountain for? One more car. What's the, the mountain card with? Like, the main thing is, what is it that I want connected to? One card. Mm -hmm. 
Like, with the mountain is that I want you to be confident overall. But I want you to be very, very confident in yourself, okay? Like, I want you to be confident enough to face a situation, perhaps, this one. Be confident enough to face me, perhaps, this one. Be responsible for your own stuff overall. Or I wish you to be confident enough to kind of manipulate me, this one. Or it's like manipulate the situation with me. Could be. There's a truth that crushed me, let's say, that I was not expecting to know about. Okay? But it's like we were young at that time. Okay, so it's more like right now we're more mature people. We're more mature. Both you and I are more mature. So I want you to face yourself here connected to me. This one. It's more like your person wishes that you are strong enough to kind of face them overall. That nothing will stop between you and me. Okay, so I want nothing to stop us from being together. It could be that way. Uh, with the Ace of um, Swords energy and the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles, it's more like internally I want to be happy growing old with you or I wish to have a stable connection with you overall. Um, on a physical level, Joe, for us to be in that kind of situation is that somebody needs to speak the truth and somebody has to, you know, master themselves up. Or both of us need to master ourselves up so that we can be in a relationship together. Okay? Uh, romantic relationship. Or at least start dating each other, perhaps. This one. Start dating in a more courteous manner, perhaps. And the challenge here with the temperance card is more to kind of go at this in a more uh, balanced and moderated way. Okay? Because you have to emperor so the emperor energy is more to be responsible it's more like the father figure let's say but that's the world of a patriarchal uh, hierarchy okay so if we're gonna go more balanced it's more like just the masculine energy uh your person wishes either them to be in a more masculine energy okay so that they can kind of like face you or you be in this kind of energy where you're responsible and you're kind of uh responsible on your end to kind of go on a certain journey or challenge yourself in this relationship kind of thing even if you don't have a relationship be one be in one perhaps with the nine of um cups energy what i want from you is to kind of be like I don't know why I don't like this person's energy a bit, okay? Like, uh, it's a bit like I will sit down and you have to entertain me kind of energy a bit, okay? Diva doesn't like this is because it's, it's more like I want you to do some stuff, okay? I want you to show me who you really are, let's say, but then again, I'm going to sit down and enjoy you, okay? Or I want you to watch me perhaps this one i want you to sit down and watch me or i want you to entertain me that kind of energy with the nine of cups okay it's it's more like uh you be responsible for your own shit but then again um i don't know <sighs> it's not me for it's not what well, i don't should not talk about the other like, it's none of my business that that much there, that one, okay? So, with the... You will need to deal with it with your person, okay? This one, it's more like you need to face your person a bit so that you can know what their characters are and if you want to deal with them. Because this one, it's more encouraging words, let's say, so that the relationship will uh, happen, like the courtship will happen. But then again, uh, it's like, I don't know if your person will meet you halfway there, that kind. They will encourage you, but then again, it's like on a 50% scale, they might kind of put 30%, even though they will pretend that they're putting 50 
that kind of energy okay so um it's like i will pretend uh, it will kind of like heat you up so that you can do more but then again i might not do so on my end that much okay so uh but on a physical level it's more like i want you to be more jealous of me i want you to be more attached to me i want you to kind of be in love with me let's say but on a physical level uh i want it to be fair and square okay i'm gonna show you that i want it to be more fair and square but deep down underneath i wish you to be more attached to me okay and in the near future with the hermit card, it's more like I want that kind of relationship where it's only you being responsible for yourself, me being responsible for myself. So there's no real strings attached that much. But we will consider us ourselves a bit like a couple. So this one, it could also be more like a one night stand kind of concept. Your person wants to have like a work hard on being in a relationship let's say but initially um okay look your person wants to say that it's going to be a relationship but deep down under the surface it's going to be more like a one night stand or friends with benefits kind of thing okay because you this one it's more like you take care of your own shit i take care of mine okay but then again the relationship could be in a type of a courtship, let's say. But when I'm saying partnership, uh, there should be some camaraderie or companionship connection there. This one is more like no strings attached. Uh, you need to be yourself. I need to be myself. But I want you to... I'm going to pretend like it's going to be 50% me, 50% you. I'm going to pretend to be in a relationship with you. But then again, under the surface, it's not really that kind of vibration i don't know okay don't ask me more but this is what i <sighs> pile six whoever chose wild unknown tarot welcome to reading i hope you're all safe and healthy this time so uh pile six what does your person want from you six what do i want from you so what do they want from you the main thing you have the mentor so i want guideship or i want you to guide me through something i replay our conversation over and over again uh the energy connected to the uh consciousness so i want more consciousness i want to have like clarity connected to you uh daughter of cops energy um with the seven of a wands energy my challenge it's the lover's card with the father of cups the reason why it's that way it's the nine of uh pentacles uh the initial energy is the six of wands in the middle section you have the daughter of uh swords and in the near future you have the father of pentacles uh what i want from you this one it's more to kind of you kind of um guide me through this okay uh this missed opportunity or this uh foolishness of mine where it's more like uh 
miscommunication perhaps so um this one it's more like i want you to guide me through this okay so i want you to kind of uh help me succeed or like be able to you know give birth to a project and succeed succeed at it uh meanwhile internally i'm kind of like um with the daughter of cups i'm still learning okay so i want to succeed but then again i'm a newbie in this process and the reason why i want this is because um i'm drawn to it intuitively or i wish to kind of gain more experience overall or i want to be more independent and uh you know gain more experience that kind my challenge uh connected to what i want from you with the lover's card and the father of cups is to kind of be more in tune with myself okay so make the decisions for myself connected to you you know the father of cups it's more like not shy away from my own uh emotions perhaps connected to how i see things okay so this one it's more you're like a mentor energy or you're like a teacher for a student okay so it's more like an eager student who wishes to kind of gain something from you uh, and learn something from you because they want to be more independent and they want to be more successful and they want to kind of gain more experience that kind in the initial energy with the six of wands it's more like what i wanted from you is to kind of like help me grow as a person help me transform as a person or this is what you taught me or this is what your channel or your like your vlog or your teachings kind of uh awakened inside awake awoken inside of me and with the daughter of swords it's more like in the present moment what i wish to have from you is to kind of what i want this one it's more for my own benefit okay overall it's not about relationships that much but it's about your person wishing to learn from you okay they want you to be their to their tutor they want you to be their teacher they want you to be their trainer uh it could be like gym this one or it could be i don't know studying it could be i don't know any kind of career field you're more like in the position of a, a mentor or i want you to be my teacher okay because i feel like you don't uh bullshit you don't sugarcoat anything and you're a good teacher you're like the teacher i need and then with the father pentacles what i want from you is that you become my teacher overall okay you teach me how to invest you teach me how to play the, sh the game uh it could be like uh, i don't know like i want you to teach me how to play a league you know it could be that way because it's like there's many monies and a lot of money in it from what i've heard so you could teach me any kind of field okay it could be how to game how to i don't know like how to do something and i don't mind spit like paying it or i don't mind exchanging certain stuff with you so this is what i want from you okay so this was it this was all that i have from you guys for you guys and i hope you're all spending a good time okay and that you're all healthy and that you're all safe and that you're all abundant and you have everything you need at least essential stuff uh i wish to kind of say you can have more than that but then again uh having enough is good still okay so may you all have a beautiful holiday season and i'll see you on my next video okay bye guys